Father's love, how vast beyond all measure. You know, uh, through this whole application process, as I'm working on my resume and just kind of putting it out there, um, it kind of feels like I'm putting myself out there, right? It looks like, um, it feels like I that paper defines everything about me, or it's supposed to, right? I'm going to write all about all my education. I'm going to write about my job experience. I'm going to write about my skills. I'm going to write about something that might set me apart, even though I was in the same program with 14 other kids, even though I went to the same high school as a thousand other graduates that same year. Uh, people that can use Microsoft Office, pretty much everyone. bilingual or some form of it right uh, through this whole process that just just writing all that stuff down all of a sudden I've, I've attached my identity to it this is me in a paper and I'm going to send it out to all these different people all these different companies and their judgment of it their um, response to hire or to even interview me is a judgment of how valuable I am To be valued by them is my desire, obviously, and they want to um, take me in. And if I get rejected by them, it's a rejection of me. It's a rejection of everything that I am because that paper defines me. Or at least that's what I was thinking. Until God told me, and God reminded me that that stuff is circumstantial, right? Like, they're looking to fill a position. They're not looking for you. But I am. I loved you before you were even born, before you even were a thought. 
I sought after you. I loved you so much that even 2,000 plus years before you were born, I died for you. I died so that you could have life, to have it more abundantly. And when I thought about that, I was just like, man, where did I, where did I go wrong? Where did I lose sight of the fact that all these things that we live for, all the praise that we live for, all the encouragement, all the kind words, all the, you know, hype. <laughs> when did that become our source of identity? When did that become the things that we strive for, we live for to, uh, to seek after? If there's one thing that will remain, if there's one thing that will stay consistent through our entire lives and for eternity, it is the love of God. Romans 8, beginning from verse 37, reads, No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. God loves us, right? It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that we, that if we would just simply believe in him, we could have eternal life, that we could enter back into the presence of God, which we were not worthy to even think about. Such a great love that came after us when we didn't want it, when we weren't even thinking about it. We were caught up in our own selfish desires. We were caught up in our own sin, in death. And if you think about it, 2,000 years ago, Jesus came and died knowing very well that we were, like, that we would accept him, that we would be in his family, that we would be in his embrace. It's why he came, it's why he died, and it's why he resurrected, because now we have hope. When we are lost, now we have hope. Father, your love is so great. Your love is so vast. It overwhelms us. It, it covers us. It drowns us. And yet for some reason, we live as though that is not enough. We live as though that would not take care of us. God, forgive us where we have sought after other things. Father, that you would remind us of your love. A love that would come and die. A love that will fight for us. A love that will chase after us. God, forgive us uh, for losing sight of that love. And I, I just pray for all those that are listening, all those um, that may be watching this video right now. God, I just pray that you would embrace them right now. That God, that you would just reveal your love in their lives. Because you love us so much. And you desire to have a relationship with us more than, more than anything else, oh God. Help us, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, yeah, I'm going to spend some more time just reading up on God's love and just thinking about it. But... I would love to hear what you think. I would love to um, dialogue with you about this um, and how we can 
be more intentional about receiving God's love, about uh, receiving his love and being able to take that and give it back to others, to show others his love so that they can connect to his love, that they can be reconnected to the Father. Um, yeah, I'd love to have a conversation with you guys about that. So please feel free to um, message me, comment below, or whatever means. You guys know how to get in contact. Um, but anyways, have a great day, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. God bless.